Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over some of the basics of the Trigger Happy module. I would also suggest downloading and installing the Dynamic Effects module because they work hand in hand. But everything I will detail today only involves the Trigger Happy module itself. So first thing, to get started with the Trigger Happy module, you either need to create a journal entry titled Trigger Happy or a folder titled Trigger Happy. If you like a different name, you can change that in the module settings, but I have it just set as a folder set to trigger happy. And in that folder, I have triggers, triggers two, triggers three. All right. Looking at this map here, there are a few things I want to detail. I have set up some triggers already on the map. Let's go ahead and open up triggers three and see what I have. So the first one at the top, I have at token market two combat items available. So the first part, let's break this down. The first part, it says at token. The token represents a named token on the map. It can be on any scene for that matter. But the token here, this token's name is market two. So what happens is right now, it's set that if this token is clicked, this journal entry will pop up. So let's see if that works. It does. So how it is set up is the token was created, the token was named, the token was put on a scene, and then I just dragged the journal entry onto the chat or onto the window here. Let me show you exactly how I did that. So at um, as I'm typing, make sure um, that your token names are unique because if you have the same token name across different scenes, you can have the wrong trigger happen, the wrong trigger end up happening. So I have at token marking two. If I go over to my journal entries, journal entries, and then I can drag this in and it pops up and then that's done. You don't need to do anything else if that is all you need to do. This can be very useful if you have like maybe um, a journal set to an image, journal set to a handout, something that they find on the ground, um, find in a dungeon, very easy to set up. Just have something there and then when a character finds it and interacts with it, it'll pop up and they will see it instantly. All right, so that's the first thing. The next thing I want to talk about today, and this is, will be the last thing I have in this particular video, is how can you have a chat message displayed using a token and using the trigger happy module. So here I have the second of my items. Ooh, you're waking up in five hours. The, here I have the second of my tokens. Uh, it is set to a, looking at the name, the name is Bolton 3, because I have Bolton 2 and Bolton 1 on other maps. Again, I should probably have more unique names, but you can name them as you wish. Notice how the actor is Bolton 2. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters for Trigger Happy is the name of the token because you have at token, so that's why the token name is very important. So I always check when I click a token, I go to settings and I check to make sure this name, the token name, is correct for the trigger. You'll run into problems if the token name is wrong, but the actor name is correct, if that makes sense. Always check the token name and make sure the token name matches the trigger in the journal. That's a key point. Okay, so going back to my triggers, I have it set to at token bulletin three at chat message. You see a bulletin board in front of you with various quests across the city. Curly bracket GM and close curly bracket. So what this will do is same thing. If, if this token is clicked, it creates a chat message that says exactly what is in the text here in the open and close bracket. And then it is produced as the message is produced as if it is the GM saying it. You could change this if you need to as well. So let's see if that works. So I click the token. It pops up only for me because I'm the GM. Your players won't have the character sheet pop up for them because they shouldn't have access to it. But because I'm the GM, I have access to all of the character sheets. All right, going over, here we are. And it popped up twice. You see a bulletin board in front of you with various quests across the city. So you could have this set up so that um, perhaps maybe you want to have things typed ahead of time. You don't need to have all of your NPCs voiced. You can easily set it up so that if they click on a character, the character will have a message already prepared. 
in the same vein, you can have it set up. Um, let me talk about one more thing actually for this. So I can also have it set up so that I could say instead of a token, I could have it be a scene that triggers this chat message. So um, let's see what scenes do I have available, available right now. Um, let's go ahead and go with magical portals. So I have now, I dragged on the scene and this will trigger and then I'll just copy that same chat message to make this go a little faster. So when it goes to the scene, it should trigger this chat message. Let's see if it works correctly. And as you can see, um, as I opened up this very beautiful map, the same chat message has appeared because it was triggered not by clicking a token, but by clicking a scene or by transitioning to a scene. I hope that has helped, at least with the basics of Trigger Happy. I will be making some more videos um, involving teleporting, and which teleporting in via portals, or going up a set of staircases, as well as I'll be making a video all uh, centered around traps. Right. Thank you for listening.